listen to. Sure. Through lots of hard work and study, I've come up with a machine that can preserve a person forever. You mean like a phonograph record? Well, a phonograph record can only preserve the voice. More like a video disc, then. Well, a video disc only preserves the voice and the image. I'm talking about immortality. Being able to contain everything about a person in one magical disc that can be stored away and, when needed, bring the person back to life with everything intact. Uh, Doug, that sounds a little far-fetched. No, it's a lot far-fetched, but it works. Bruce, want to be immortalized? Ah, uh, no. He's immortalized already. It's my turn now. Okay, just step this way into the incredible immortality machine. And just take off your little shoes there. Good, I don't want you to get any dirt in the intricate machinery here. Just stand right there. All right. Okay, here we go. Now we lower the curtain. Terrific. How do you feel? Like a pair of baby shoes about to be brawn. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. I've done this hundreds of times. Successfully? Well, dozens of times. There's a lot. You're welcome. Put your little feet out there. Okay. There we go. Good. Are you ready? Here we go. There we go. You let? Uh, just how far does this thing go? Watch closely and you'll see. I'm getting too short for tattoo now. <laughs> you ready, Ann? Uh-huh. You're about to become a disc. <laughs> I hope I'm a million sellers. <laughs> I told her she should quit smoking. <laughs> Don't worry, she's just fine. Yep. Uh, I was just wondering, is she going to be a 78, a 45, or a 33 and a third? No matter what I do to her, Anne will always be a 10. Here we go. Raise the... The plunger there? Ah, good. Now we just lift up the curtain and we'll see what we have. Here she is. Anne is now immortalized forever. And also a little flat. Well, it's only a temporary condition. Here, look at the library of my recent successes. There we go. They're all in the same state as she is now. How would you like to see one materialize? Yeah, sure. Who have you got? Well, I've got lots of people. I've listed them under these categories. We have singer, dancer, actress. That's the one I'm going to put Anne under here. We also have athletes, movie stars, comedians. Uh, what, what Comedians. Yeah, oh. could we, uh... Okay, let's you know, see now. There we go. How about this one? Uh, he always breaks me up. <laughs> well, I've already broken him up, so we're even. But let me just slip him down here in the machine. There he goes right there. Lower the curtain, and away we go. wish like that. He's still going to be funny. I hope so. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the star of his own new TV series, Billy Crystal! I have a stiff neck you wouldn't believe. Uh, well, Doug's still working out some of the kinks. I feel like a slinky, you know? Billy, Bruce has never believed that this thing's really going to work, but now I think he's a believer, too. Oh, it works all right. You can ask any of us here in the library. Uh, who do you have here? Uh, come on over, take a look. Let's see, let's see, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Nixon. You mean if we put him in the machine, he'll be recreated? Yeah, but it says here he's missing 18 and a half minutes. <laughs> Maybe I can put it back. No, nah, I don't bother. Huh? I am not a disc. I am not a disc. <laughs> Let's see who else we have here. Ooh. There's a little one. Yeah, this is Gary Coleman. Ah, cute. A little deep there. One of my one for children there. Another one. Oh, this is another specimen here. Oh, this is Ed Meese. Yeah. <laughs> He's very important. You know, if he resigns, Reagan will be president. <laughs> you can hear the Nixon one still talking. It's going, I am not a disc. I am not a... Let's see, what else have we got here? Uh, oh, Bruce, this is...
This is for yeah. you. Which one? This is special for you. I'll give you a hint, okay? okay. Go. Uh, talks a lot. Huh? Bad to pay. Howard Cosell. In Python. <laughs> there he is, huh? I'd like to see him. You put him in? Oh, no, 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 no. Once you put him on, he, it's hard to get him to turn off. You know, just on and on and on. Bruce, you don't want to go through all that stuff again, you know. Mm, he's always been good to me. Yeah, but you'll hear him going, Bruce Jenner, in retrospect, looking back, Montreal, 1976, 8,618 points, America's Adonis. The world's greatest athlete, if you will. Now a sad and pathetic man. Only immortalized no, in front I've of... I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I know. Well, I think we spent enough time here in the room of the future. So now I'd like to take you to show you some magic of the past. Well, that sounds fine. Billy, you want to go with us? No, I think I'm going to stay, guys. You go ahead. There's a uh, Bo Derek disc I think I'd like to look into. I just want to discuss her feelings about unilateral disarmament, you know? <laughs> Isn't he something? Always trying to improve his mind. <laughs> we'll see you later, Billy. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 